consider two topics. The first one is bargaining problems. The second one is cooperative games in characteristic function four. So the first topic is used for modeling the cooperative or strategic agreements between players or economic agents. It is used when we want to define of which strategy should we choose in order to sign a cooperative agreement. The second topic is used for, for modeling of how can we allocate payoff which is obtained if we cooperate. So for example, we choose some cooperative strategies, for example, maximization of joint utilities or payoffs, then the question stands of how can we allocate this payoff among players so that the cooperation would be beneficial for all of the players. Now let's start with bargaining problems and some classical solution for that, which is called the Nash bargaining solution. Let's start with classical example from, uh, from game theory called the battle of sexes. In here we have husband and wife choosing of where they want to go at the evening. They have two options. The first option is, do, is go to the football match. The second option is go to, to the theater. Of course, uh, of course, the couple, couple wants to spend the evening together. They do, do, do not want to be separated. As we already discussed before, this model, this problem can be modeled using the B-matrix game, which is shown on the slide. And uh, here the first player is the husband, the second player is the wife. The husband has two pure strategies, x1 and x2, and wife also has two pure strategies, y1 and y2. Here x1 is when husband chooses to go to the football match, and x2 is the pure strategy when husband chooses to go to the theater. The same, for, the same is true for, for, the, for the wife. And um, let's, let's consider some um, strategy profiles. So the first strategy profile is x1, u1, and here the payoffs are four and one. So the husband receives payoff four and wife receives payoff one if both of them choose to go to the football match. If both of them choose to go to the theater, which is the strategy profile X2, U2, then the payoffs are one and four correspondingly. If we consider other strategy profiles, which are X2 and U2, and X1, U, U2, then the, the, the payoffs there are equal to zero because both of the, 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 the couple does not want to be separated. Okay, in this, in this particular B-matrix game, the Nash equilibrium are strategy profiles x1, u1, x2, u2, and we also have Nash equilibrium in, in mixed strategies. The Nash equilibrium here can be used for forecasting of how this process would develop of, or what, what strategies will husband and wife choose if they would decide independently and simultaneously. But what happens if they would want to make an agreement or if they would want to bargain of where do they want to go? For that, we need to consider the set of all possible outcomes. By the outcome, we understand a vector of payoffs. On the slide, you can see the set uh, R, A, B, which is the set of all possible outcomes. Points A, B, and R are the, the payoffs of the players in pure strategies. Point D are, is, is the payoff of players in Nash equilibrium, within mixed strategies. Point D is also called the disagreement point, but we will talk about that later. So we suppose that the, the, pay, the, the players do not want to make an agreement of something which is less than the Nash equilibrium. So they say that we want to have we, a good bargain. Yeah? And therefore, as the bargaining set or the set of payoffs or outcomes where we want to choose the solution is defined as follows, E, D, C, B, and A. So what is the bargaining problem? 
the bargaining problem is probably when we need to define a function, uh, we need to define a, a point from bargaining set, which is a function of S, bargaining set, and disagreement point D. The disagreement point can be defined in different ways. It could be Nash equilibrium, it could be defined using max mean approach, or it could be even defined manually. But in, in our case, we will consider, we will use the Nash equilibrium approach. Okay, let's go back to our example of battle of sexes. In here, the set of players is one and two, so we have two players. Set of uh, bargaining set is uh, shown on was shown on the slide before, and the disagreement point is the payoffs in Nash equilibrium. Now the question stands: of which point from the bargaining set do we want to choose? For that, there are several classical approaches. One of them, and the, mo the most famous one, is the Nash bargaining solution. The Nash bargaining solution can be used for n player games or for, for the game with arbitrary number of players. But in our case, we have two player games, but still. Nash bargaining solution and any other bargaining solution or cooperative solution in game theory is defined using the set of axioms. What is the axiom? The axiom is a property a mathematical property which has a certain physical meaning. When we define cooperative, cooperative solution, we want it to be, for example, Pareto optimal. So we want it to be, to have a, a good outcomes. And we also want, want to have other properties. So we define set of properties, of set of axioms, then we derive the solution and then we try to construct the analytical form or explicit formula for this solution. So for the Nash bargaining solution, we define four axioms. The first one is Pareto optimality. So the bargaining solution in our case is a vector and it, it is Pareto optimal when there is no vector which is better than the chosen one for any vector value. So we say if there is no vector which is better for any vector value, then we say that, that the chosen solution is Pareto optimal. Then the second axiom is called symmetry. We say that the solution satisfies axiom of symmetry if we will have the same solution when we change the number of players or we change the name, names of the players. So solution only depends on the values, of some values of payoffs. So the third, the third axiom is called scale invariance. It says that if we change the, the bargaining set using some linear operator, so for example, we expand the bargaining set by, uh, uh, by multiplication or constant or something like that, then what we will get is we will get, and, and we will calculate the bargaining solution using the initial set and the expanded set, then, then we, can, we can calculate the bargaining solution on the expanded set as the bargaining solution with linear operator in the initial set. That's it. The, th the fourth axiom is called the independence of irrelevant, irrelevant alternatives. It says that if we consider the initial bargaining set, then we, we calculate, or we define the specific bargaining solution, and then we, we, we can consider the subset of, of the initial bargaining set, which includes the, the, the corresponding bargaining solution, then if we recalculate Nash bargaining, uh, recalculate some bargaining solution in the in the um, in the subset of the initial bargaining set, then it will be equal to the bargaining solution in the initial bargaining set. So it means that the bargaining solution defined 
using the initial bargaining set only depends on the, on the alternatives or the outcomes which are relevant. It was proved that there exists a unique function satisfies the axiom which the axioms which were defined on the previous slide, and it can be calculated using the following explicit formula. The, for, the formula seems to be uh, pretty easy to compute, but as we increase the number of players, the computation time will take will be uh, large. Also, this, the, the solution that satisfies these four axioms, and as it turns out, can be calculated using this formula, we will call the Nash bargaining solution. Let's calculate the Nash bargaining solution for our example of battle of sexes. And on the slide, you can see that the Nash bargaining solution is located right in the middle of the, of, uh, of the interval A and B. This is only because the this interval, A and B, which actually is the set of Pareto optimal outcomes, is symmetrical to the disagreement point D. On this slide, you can see a list of references where you can study of how you can prove the theorem which corresponds to the Nash-Bergenian solution, and also you can find there other examples.